Um, yeah, that was a weird introduction. So yes, um, another sit down video with me once again, yours truly. <laughs> but yes, we are doing our Premier League game week predictions for game week one. I might do this as, as a series, I don't know, might do. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, whether you want. I mean, after you hear the results, I mean, you might go, what the hell are you talking about? But let's just dive straight into it. So the first one we've got is, of course, the Friday night game, Burnley against Man City. But yes, um, look, it's Burnley's first season back in the Premier League. It's going to be a difficult one against the champions. But I think, you know, Vincent Company there, I think he'll pull off a little bit of a surprise. I think it'll be a close game, but I think City are going to run out two one winners. So we're going to be doing. So the next one is Arsenal against Nottingham Forest. Now, a lot of people have tipped Forest to, to struggle this season. I've sort of tipped them to struggle. I, I've dubbed in that bottom five teams in in the table. But I think Arsenal, you know, they had they were pretty good in the in the Community Shield, and I could see them sweeping sweeping Forest by. I can see them 3 0. So then, new promoted then Sheffield United. Now, you know, it's good that we've got a, a South Yorkshire club back in the Premier League, but they're coming against Palace, where, again, another tough, tough route. You know, they faced Palace, I think, I believe it was on the opening day of the 1920 season, so, and they actually beat Palace. So, this time around, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to go 3 1. To Crystal Palace but if you haven't already make sure you drop a like as well to the video as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't we are over 2,000 subscribers let's push on let's push on let's get to the big echelons now of YouTube it's been great over the last five years but yes this, that's just a little plug from me it's been, you know, a little break in between so then Bournemouth against West Ham now you know West Ham losing Declan Rice big loss for them Bournemouth you know yeah, we're a new manager in place. It's, I don't know. I think he'll start off with a defeat. I think West Ham. I think will do better than Bournemouth this season. Um, you know, they've, they've got European, they've got Europa League football, so they can attract one or two players. Um, I think from what I've seen, I think when I looked, they were apparently looking after Scott McTominay, which you know would be probably good. But it would be a good signing for them, I think. You know, he would probably do quite well at West Ham. So, but I can see West Ham winning by two goals to nil. So then we're getting to another newly promoted team, Luton Town. Now the way at Brighton. Now Brighton were the surprise team last season. You're know, finishing the Europa League, and you know I think this season they'll. I think they'll find the pace a little bit too much. You know, with the European commitments for the first time. You know they've kept Caicedo, which I think is brilliant for them because I think he's a brilliant player. Um, I think he will go at some point. Probably, if it's not January, definitely in the summer next year. I think there will be a lot of big clubs calling for his signature. But I do think Brighton will start off with a win. I'm going to go 3-1. So then, Everton against Fulham. Yes. Now, Fulham signed Raul Jimenez. Great signing. You know, maybe maybe lost his edge a little bit you know, since the injury. He's probably not been the same. But I still think he's a, a class player. Sean Dyche at Everton, you know, he kept him up. He did very, very well. did a great job. I think they will kick on, but I still think they won't be as high as what people think. I think they'll be sort of lower mid-table this season. But I do think Fulham will... I think they'll do well again this season. They've signed some good players. I'm going to go 2-1 to Fulham. Now, this one really divided an opinion for me uh, when I was kind of doing my predictions for, for this game week. Newcastle, Aston Villa. Now, predictably, this could be the game of the weekend, if I'm honest. It could be. I mean, the two brilliant teams signed some brilliant players. You know, Harvey Harvey Barnes at um, with Newcastle. You know, the signing. You know, they've signed some. You know, Sandra Tonali, another brilliant signing. Um, I can't believe they attracted him. Um, you know, Villa bringing some quality as well. I think. Yeah, I, this season they could be. Those two teams could be battling to see who finishes maybe fourth or fifth. I think they will, certainly with European commitments, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for a lot of them. They might find a lot of pace a little bit, but I think it'll be a good game. That's the tea time kickoff. I'm going to go a draw, 1-1. One, one. Okay, so Sunday, the Sunday games. So the first one, Brentford against Spurs. Now, this could be another good game. I think Spurs, at the time of recording this, Bayern have just had a, re a bid rejected. 
from Spurs for Harry Kane. Now, there's talk about Harry Kane going to Manchester United. I, I, yeah, I don't know. There's, this thing, this story is going to rumble on and on until until deadline day, if I'm honest. But Brentford, I think, got a good season. Losing Ivan Tony, I think, is is a big loss. You know, he'll be. Uh, yeah, it'll be a big one, but uh, I think they've still got a bit of quality, but there will be plenty of goals in this game. I'm going to go for a Desmond. I'm going to go 2-2. Right then, Chelsea against Liverpool. Now, difficult one. It's a difficult one. You know, Chelsea, they've had a lot more outs than ins. Um, you know, Potch's first game back in the Premier League. Um, and then, of course, you know, Liverpool have had their changes. Jordan Henson going, Fabinho going. They've brought in Alexis McAllister, they've brought in Sabitzai. Um, I still think Liverpool need a couple more players, if I'm honest. They still need another midfielder, maybe a centre-half. Um, certainly, with the players, you know, Matip's getting old. Joe Gomez is not the player that he is. Van Dijk had a bit of a poor season um, last time around. Um, you know, I still think, potentially, if they want to, they could move Trent into midfield. We saw that for England. I know they played, people go, oh, they played Malta, they played this. But let's be honest, some of the passes he was playing against here you know, for Saka, ridiculous. Ridiculous. But for me, I do think, you know, Liverpool will just edge Chelsea. I think they, the firepower they've got, I think, with Salah, they've got, you know, Nunes, of course, Diaz and Jota as well. I, I think they will just have the edge over Chelsea. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 with that one. Right, and finally, it is the final game of the weekend. Manchester United against Wolves. Now, yeah, Wolves have certainly, again, a lot more outs than ins for them. Man United, you know, bringing in Anana, which, let's be honest, is a good replacement for David De Gea. Um, they're still, for me, they haven't really, they're still, if I'm honest, they're still an average team with a pretty good coach. That's all I'd say for it. You know, they've got one or two good players in there, you know, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, uh, Jane Sancho. You know, they, they've still got you know some good players, but they're still an average team. And let's be honest, you know, they, they finished in the top four because a lot of the teams fell over each other. And you know, I do think they will start off with a win, but I don't think it'll be convincing against Wolves, but I will say it will finish 2-0. And yes, that is my predictions for game week one. Let me know what you think in the comments and well, try not to roast me too much, but uh, it's just a little bit of fun. Um, you know, if I knew everything, then I wouldn't be, you know, I'd be working for, for Sky, I'd be working for the Premier League. But um, but yeah, no, um, if you enjoyed this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you've enjoyed this little mini series, I'll, I will do another one. I might even do one for the Football League, the Championship, you never know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what scores you think. And yeah. Onwards and upwards.